Good afternoon, this is Eric over at 12 String Theory. I, um, I have a little project guitar I just finished up and I thought I'd make a video before my, um, my customer picks it up um, because it's kind of interesting. Um, my, um, the, the person I, I um, did this for, he's a left-handed player and um, he had learned to play on right-handed guitars um, played upside down. So as a consequence, a lot of times the um, He's, he's playing on righty instruments, but the controls are in the wrong place, and sometimes the input jack, or the output jack, sorry, for example. So um, he was in the shop checking out some instruments, and um, Godin makes these really neat left-handed uh, Fifth Avenues um, that are, um, you know, great, great hollow body guitars. Um, but the, the problem was that a lot of times he plugs straight into um, a PA, so um, the regular um, kingpins the, the Fifth Avenue um, with no cutaway. They only come with one P90 in the neck and it's kind of bassy and um, doesn't really work plug straight into a board. Um, but he had noodled around with another one that I had here that had humbuckers on it and he really liked the bright sound of the humbuckers. So what, um, what I ended up doing was um, I um, added a, um, a Godin humbucker to the bridge here and um, you know, put in a selector switch and just wired it up for the one volume, one tone, so you can um, jump between the three pickups. That's a P90, you know, up in the neck. And you have the... The humbucker and the bridge, and then you mix them together. Whoops. <laughs> um, so they sound pretty cool. The, the, the bridge definitely has a nice bright sound. Um, all the parts came from Godin, and I'm pretty sure they use Alnico um, magnets in their humbuckers in these hollow bodies anyway, the fifth abs. So um, because, he's a right, because he's playing right-handed guitars upside down, you know, as a left-handed player, I had to change this over to be strung like a right-handed guitar, which is, you know, the only reason I can play it now. Um, so... I replaced the nut with one of the ones from Godin for um, a right-handed fifth av. The um, the bridge here is the same thing because it's it's um, a fixed bridge. These are these are Tusk, I believe. Um, so to get the intonation right, use a right-handed bridge. Um, I used a set of um, GHS nickel rockers. They're 11 through 50 with a one G because that's kind of similar to what he usually has on his acoustics. He has um, 11s on those. Um, and these have a pretty nice feel to them. A um, little modification to the pick guard to make it work. Um, Godin is very thoughtful that on their left-handed guitars they have you know, actual numbers on a, um, in reverse on the knobs instead of just using right-handed parts. So you know the left-handed guitars are more dedicated in that respect. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty neat guitar. And, um, and these things are great sounding just hollow bodies, you know, regardless of which pickups you have in them. But I really like the humbucker in this. It's got a really nice sound to it, and the P90 is pretty cool too. If I can play that right. guitar. Go to Fifth Avenue. Probably the only one like it anywhere. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Thanks. Take care now. Bye.